So were you a fan before the show? Like, or were those the only episodes that you watched when you dated that girl back in the day? I had seen like a couple episodes of, the, of that one. And then I had seen like randomly um, when I was, when I had been in a relationship, I had been invited to watching parties of like random, mm -hmm. like not official watching parties, but just like, these are a bunch of girls having wine and like, come and join us. I'm like, okay. And so I, yeah. I'd seen that before. Uh, side note, this is important. I forgot to add this. I was not contacted for this season. I was originally contacted for Katie's season. Oh. Uh, so I was supposed to be on Katie's season. What happened there? Um, without going into too much of the details of it, uh, basically, uh, I COVID happened, basically. And so I was not able to go because of COVID. Were you happier I, to go on this season than you would have been to go on Katie's season? Honestly... I, I feel like as it is, you know, maybe Katie and I, our personalities would have meshed better. I feel like we were closer in kind of the the type of interactions that we do and the kind of humor and our thoughts on the world from what I know. But Roby. honestly, I, I haven't met the ladies, so I, I can't say for sure. Roby, we might be able to uh, well, she's single. make magic happen. She is single now. <laughs> I mean, she is single. Let that, let's put that out in the universe. <laughs> it's possible. He <laughs> said it's possible. Fair enough. Um, so... He said it's possible. San Diego's not that. so far away from Los Angeles, you know? What'd you say? I said San Diego's closer to Los Angeles than uh, than Florida. A couple hours. There it, it. Okay, so let's say this. Katie's listening. What do you say to her right now? Honestly, uh, I had randomly had a conversation with Sean on the phone through a friend of mine, and he was super lovely to me. So I, I don't want to say anything. I just I know that they're going through something, and I just I wish them the best. I think she's a beautiful, wonderful woman, but I think they both need to heal right now. The magic man with the T right I'm here. Trying to well, how what what like bro? How do you just randomly have a conversation with John? It's just randomly. He turns out to like be family friends with like one of my best friends, and they're like, "Hey, you should just you're doing his thing. Have a conversation with this guy." And he was nothing but sweet. So. So wait, did John give John you advice going nice. on the show? Uh, just a, 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 a little bit. Just just a poquito. Un poquito. Un poquito. Sí. poquito. <laughs> what was the advice? What was the advice? Um, just be yourself. Be natural. Sure. It's the whirlwind, you know, like, just, like, try to hold on. You're in a tornado. You don't know where it's going to take you. But, you know, hopefully you don't kill a witch in the process. Well, well bro, I have, <laughs> this was not what Brian nor I intended. But we, we, I have to. You were trying to be respectful and sweet to John, which I, I, I think John's a great human being. I really do. But then you also, and previously has said that Katie would be, you know, somebody that you would holler at. <laughs> you barely know John. The bro code is if I know you as a homie, but you don't even know John like that. So you still want to go holler well, at Well, he, he seems like more of like an acquaintance, not, yeah, he's not an acquaintance, necessarily not like, a, a, you know. like a homie homie. It's, you know, it's the world is strange. So let's see what happens with the world. <laughs> all all is fair. I love and war. I love it. I love it. <laughs>